welcome to my keto kitchen I'm Victoria and today we are going to make a coconut cake and today I want to use a 9 by 13 I wanted to make a coconut sheet cake but I don't want it to be that thin so I'm putting it in a 9 by 13 I have been thinking on this recipe for a while now so I am glad to finally have everything out in front of me and by the way the topping is going to be a coconut buttercream I have never had a coconut buttercream before my expectations are up here so I'm hoping it reaches our expectations here because this is actually a recipe that I have not done for myself yet so this is the first time this particular recipe I've been thinking on it I have been creating the arrangements of how much for everything but I haven't actually made this before so this is a first for me so we're doing this together if this is a flop I'll probably post it anyways but in the beginning I'll just say it was a flop if it turns out great you'll know that up front as well so let's get started Step one, we need two cups of Victoria's Keto flour. Now, this right here is 160 grams of flour. To this, I'm going to add half of a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm gonna whisk this up. Now I'm gonna set this aside. The next thing we need to do is we need 12 tablespoons of room temperature butter. And this is one and a half sticks if you go by sticks. It is at room temperature so that we can whisk in and beat together the sweetener. So right here I have half of a cup, this is my favorite blend, I have half of a cup of xylitol and half of a cup of Truvia. If you're going to do this you need one cup of your favorite sweetener. So you guys know I love xylitol and Truvia together. That's my favorite. So right there I have half of a cup of Truvia and half of a cup of xylitol. Now I am going to whip this until I can get it looking somewhat fluffy. Beautiful. Okay, the butter and the sweetener went together very, very well. First, I want to scrape down the sides. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add five room temperature egg whites. Next, we need half of a cup of sour cream, one teaspoon of coconut extract, and right here is one tablespoon of vanilla. So I'm going to beat this up. Now, what is more than likely going to happen is it's going to look very separated, which would be fine. It's going to, it's fine. Um, so don't get scared if it starts to separate and look cottage cheesy, okay? Because that tends to happen when you have uh, your butter with your sugar and then you add your egg. They just separate. So here we go. Okay, now, what looks like cottage cheese, we're going to move on. Okay, so right here I have one cup of canned unsweetened coconut milk. So that is going right in here. Next we have our flour that we put our baking powder and our salt into. And lastly, I have one cup of unsweetened coconut flakes. So I'm going to add that right here. Don't put your bowl in your bowl. Um, it, it won't bake well. Guys, I had a major seizure last Saturday and it is Tuesday right now. And I am still struggling to come out of this whatever gloom type of thing that a seizure puts me in. So the one before this one was easy. I went into it, I came out an hour later, was making my video. Y'all, I have procrastinated to put this video together. It's all been in here. I just have not come to the kitchen and wanted to do it. So, to be able to actually get through this video and have it posted by Friday will be a blessing from the Lord. Nothing short of that. Okay, everything is in here. Let's turn it on and whip it up. Beautiful. All of the cottage cheesy looking chunks are gone. 
Now, I have a 9 by 13 pan right here, and I have it lined. There we go. I am going to pour this into our 9 by 13, and then I'm going to smooth it around. Okay, beautiful. We have this 9 by 13 coconut cake. Now, my oven is at 350, and I'm going to bake this for 20 minutes, but like I said, I have not baked this before, so I don't know what's going to happen. So, I am going to keep a close eye on it. So, I'm setting my oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. If it's more or less, I will let you know, but I will be right back while this is baking. We can make the coconut buttercream. Okay, now we are ready to make the coconut buttercream. Step one, we need two sticks of butter, which is one cup of room temperature butter. Next, we need one brick of cream cheese. Now this is eight ounces of cream cheese. Okay, so we want to beat together the butter and the cream cheese until they're creamy and smooth, probably about two or three minutes. It is looking beautiful. So now I'm going to scrape down the sides and turn it back on. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to add the remaining ingredients. Right here, I have one cup of Truvia and one cup of xylitol powder. I put them in a coffee grounder and I ground them to a fine white powder. So. That goes in first, Whew, very fine white powder. To this, we want two tablespoons of the canned coconut milk, unsweetened canned coconut milk. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, and right here is half of a teaspoon of coconut extract and half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And lastly, I have coconut flakes. I want to use about two cups. Depends on how much I have left in this bag. I have about two and a quarter cups left, so I'm just going to pour the rest in there. All right, walk it and beat it really well. If you need to stop, just stop it and scrape down the sides so that it is all mixing very, very well. Okay, it looks very well mixed and I wanna taste it. I wanna taste it. Let's see. Okay. I have to try it. I have not had a coconut buttercream. Whoa. 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 That is good. That is like, it tastes like, it tastes like coconut cheesecake with a delicious bite, like almost like an oatmeal cream cookie, like like an oatmeal cookie where you're getting that crunch because of the coconut flakes. Whoa. That is delicious. Okay, so 20 minutes was not even close. I pulled this out at 32 minutes in. So in the recipe card, I'm probably going to put bake it between 30 and 35 minutes. It's going to depend on your oven. Just poke it with the toothpick, make sure it comes out clean. Once it comes out clean, you can pull it out for sure. But, no, darling. 
But you see, we are done. It's not moving. For now, I'm going to leave this on the counter. I'm going to get it to room temperature and then I'll come back. I'll put the icing on and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator because I think that this needs to be cold. It just has the taste of almost like a cake slash cheesecake and I my brain says it, it must be cold. It has to be cold. So I'm going to let this cool to room temperature. I'll come back and icing it. Then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and then we'll taste it in a little while because I think it needs to be cold. All right, so be right back. Okay, so this has fully cooled to room temperature and now we are going to put the coconut buttercream on top and then I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator to get it cold. We want it to chill. This definitely wants to melt. I thought I fully chilled this. I mean, it's slightly warm. Slightly. Okay. This is that moment where you hope it tastes better than it looks, which I already know it does taste great. However, I have not tasted the cake itself, but I have tasted the icing, and the icing is, the icing is delicious. Okay, this is as good as it gets. All right, here is our coconut cream cake. I am going to put this in the fridge probably for an hour, at least an hour before I come back and taste it for you. So I'll be back in about an hour. Okay, so I have let the cake cool. I showed you guys me cutting it. I put it up close so you see exactly what this looks like. It smells like a coconut paradise. I have not tasted this yet. I am very excited, so let's do it. Mm. Yes, this is a good cold cake. Mm. This is, can I say, it's very close. I want to say that it's, it's perfect. It's like, the cake is not overly sweet. The buttercream is sweeter than the cake, which is something you typically want, but sometimes your cake is oversweet, your cream is oversweet, then you, your stomach hurts by the time you finish eating it. This is the most perfect balance between the icing and the cake. This needs to go into a contest. If there is a keto contest out there, please enter that con Take this to that contest. Mmm. This is so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I'm a little bit slower than my normal self today. My cats are dingling with their bells around here. But hopefully I'll come alive in a few more days. <laughs> I need to get a little bit further from this last seizure. But this is delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you make this, please go over to Facebook. Join up that group over there. If you have questions, that's the perfect place to ask questions. Get help and to post pictures of your results. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and you all have a blessed day.